Hey everybody, it's Christmas, and Christmas means that I get a little bit, a little bit kitschy. Actually, over enthusiastic might be the proper word to use. I love sparkles, and this is a season of freaking sparkles everywhere. So this week I've decided to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. So instead of a regular lookbook, I'm gonna be doing five mini vignettes, and each of them is gonna talk about the history of Christmas. Because, yeah, I love Christmas and I can do what I want. It's my channel, yay! So, let's start at the beginning. I'm going to talk today about presents. Because who doesn't love presents? And more importantly, let's start with Black Friday, which just passed. Now, a lot of people think that Black Friday actually came from the fact that it's the day the retailers move from red into the black, or from not making money to being profitable. The truth is, that is not where Black Friday comes from. It is all a marketing ploy. The reality is, Black Friday actually came from fighting. <laughs> In Philadelphia, they used to host the Army-Navy game, and people would get so aggressive and violent that they would storm into the city, they would steal from stores and basically destroy the town. So they started calling the day before the game Black Friday. Now, as things kind of progressed, Black Friday is an ominous, terrible name for a day. So they reinvented it through a giant marketing campaign to say it was the day that marketers went from red to black. So basically, Black Friday is a giant marketing ploy to cover up a dangerous, brawling situation because people love football too much. When we talk about presents as well, you might talk about, well, where did the whole present giving tradition come from? Well, many people know that that actually came from the three wise men, right? The gifts that they brought the birth of, for the birth of baby Jesus, right? Well, that is, yeah, where it started, but the actual tradition from today came from Victorian era times where presents started to be given to family members. In Victorian times, you would take many different colors of strings and you would create a giant web in your sitting room because back then people had money to have sitting rooms. And the day of Christmas, you would get a color and you would untangle your thread with the rest of the family, trying to find your present, which would be attached at the end of that thread. So it became a family activity, more or less about the activity than the present itself. As that evolved, presents became more of the family tradition and the string game, which I think is freaking cool and think we should bring back, no longer exists. So that's some basic history of presents and Christmas. Now, I'm gonna be leaving some other facts in the video as you watch, and I hope you enjoy my present-inspired outfit.